Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. Today what we're going to do is talk DSP. So what is a DSP? What does a DSP do? And why would you need a DSP? So let's talk about a DSP. So a DSP is sometimes called a digital signal processor or sometimes a digital sound processor. But essentially what that is, is a way to take the signal from your source unit, whether that be a aftermarket head unit, an OEM head unit, or directly from a phone or a tablet, or just some form of audio source into a processor. Now the processor itself takes that information and then gives you a lot of ability to change the sound that is coming from the processor. Now I have here in front of me two different products from the DSP range from Phoenix Gold. We have a SQ DS Pro, DSP, which is a standalone DSP from the ZQ range. And then we have a DSP amplifier from the ZD range. Now, the idea behind them is to give you a lot of tunability to your system so you can change the sound to suit whatever it is that you like. If you like more higher frequencies, if you like the sound to be in the center of the vehicle, if you like it to the right or to the left, all this tunability comes through the DSP. Now the DSP itself is essentially the chipset within the product, and that's what controls the sound. So it'll take the input, whether that's an auxiliary input, a coaxial input, a digital input such as fiber optic, or whether that's just the standard RCA input, or even a high level from an, after, from an OEM head unit, it takes that signal input and gives it you all available to access and adjust. So you could have, eight channels of input, four channels of input, six channels of input, and then that allows you to process all those inputs to outputs. So you'll see on a product like this, you have eight outputs. So you've got all your outputs here for the another amplifier. This is also being an amplifier has got the inputs and outputs. So it's a four channel output, a four channel amplifier with six digital outputs as well. So what you can do is you plug this into your vehicle and it will give you front and rear if it was on an OEM install, or you could just have that as front separates, tweeters and mids. What this will allow you to do is, for example, take those, you can adjust the crossovers. So there's a variety of different crossover types as well as different slopes, and then you can adjust them accordingly. So you might want to choose your, your particular preference on the crossover type. Um, so Butterworth, for example, and then you can adjust this by 6, 12, 18, 24 decibels. And what that does is that changes the slope of the adjustment. So if you have a steep slope, it means that the frequency stops very quickly. And then the flatter the slope, it means it slopes off a lot slower. So you can blend in the sound nicely. The reason you do that is when you tune in the system to make sure your tweeters and the mids and even the subwoofer all blend in perfectly. You then have time alignment. So the time alignment built into the DSP will allow you to bring the speakers together naturally. So as in a vehicle, the speaker to your right, and if you're in the UK, or to your left, if you're anywhere else in the world, the speaker nearest to you will get to you in terms of the sound first. So the time alignment allows you to balance the speakers further away and closer to you to allow them to come together at the same time, which gives you a better all round sound. Essentially, it's what we call staging to make it sound like essentially a stage. So if you went to watch a concert, that's what you want it to sound like. So that's what time alignment is perfect for. Now, we also then have uh, um, crossover points as we just spoke about. But then we've also got a parametric EQ. Um, we've got a 31 band in both of these devices. So that means you can equalize every single band within that realm. So 31 bands gives you from 20 Hertz up to 20,000 Hertz and 31 increments in between. So if you have a lull in the car at 500 Hertz, you can boost that. If you have a boost at the car at 1000 Hertz, you can bring that down. And it's all about balancing that sound. And with Bit DSP being one of the biggest things on the market these days, it's a fantastic product to have integrated into an amplifier. And it's also great to have it as a separate item when you want to use different amplifiers, such as any of the mono amplifiers, any of the truck amplifiers, anything like that, where you want a bit more power, or you want to separately control different parts of the system. With a lot of the DSPs, they are used via a computer, so a laptop. So you plug them in via USB, full control on the laptop. We also have available on the ZD plug and play DSP an app, which is available for that as well. So you can do that on the phone. 
Um, so this gives you complete and full control over your system using the DSP. So if you do want to fully control your system, make sure you look into DSP products. And we've got two currently from Phoenix Gold.